Ganeshan for having uh, uh, articulated far better than uh, I could have uh, of the concerns that I wanted to express. Thank you very much. This is a, I just want to refer to the resolution that this house, uh, that the parliament adopted when the, Constitu the Constitutional Assembly was uh, uh, created. That resolution was presented just three years ago on the 9th of January 2015. I'm sorry, 2016. And it took three months, or two months rather, before it was adopted. After four days of long debate, it was adopted on the 9th of March 2016. Every aspect was gone into, and it was adopted unanimously. I want to stress the point that Parliament adopted this resolution under which we are working unanimously after four full dates of debate over a period of two months. There was no hurry. There was no haste. All of the members who are now screaming blue murder who are saying the country will split into nine parts, all agreed with the resolution for a new constitution. And as to how this should function. And thereafter, there was an interim report. When the interim report was prepared, it was prepared with the consensus of all parties. I heard Honorable Nimal Siripal Di Silva say something about uh, executive presidency. But in the steering committee, at one point, they agreed that the executive presidency must be abolished. They changed their minds thereafter. After the interim report was prepared with the consent of all parties, and that happened by November 2016, the people of this country know that eventually the interim report came out only on the 23rd of September 2017, more than 10 months later. The reason for that, for that is that some parties started going back on the agreement that was reached. And they started giving their views to be annexed to the interim report. We also gave it. We gave our position because some parties were going back on the consensus reached. If you look at the TNA's position paper, we have said our positions very clearly, but we have at, at the end said, but if the if the two main parties agree on the main proposals, we will consider agreement with that. So it is in that context that the interim report was submitted, and six or seven subcommittee reports came. The first document that has been placed before the uh, uh, committee today is a, a report by the panel of experts. It's in draft form, based on that interim report and the seven subcommittee reports. As uh, the chairman said, perhaps the English copy, confidential, not for circulation, draft only, that part must be uh, taken out. Uh, that is when they gave it to us, that was there, and therefore it probably has been printed along with that. So I also request that that part be taken out, and that English, Singhala, and Tamil have the same, same format that it is a report. But it's never, even though it's called a report, it's in a draft form. So this is a document that we must quickly discuss at this assembly and give directions to the, the steering committee to prepare the draft constitution, because that is what the resolution says. Because, merely because there has been some elections and the political situation in the country has changed, you can't now step back or go back, go into reverse gear. The resolution people have committed to. All the parties in this parliament have committed to this resolution. And that must be taken to its conclusion. We, for our part, will continue to remain committed to this process since, as several speakers here have said, the first time that the main Tamil party has participated in this process, and we will participate to the end, if only to show that we have not abandoned the process, 
that we have been willing to participate and see that a constitution for this country is enacted with the consent of all the peoples of this country. And we are committed to that process. But despite our full commitment, if that is not achieved, then there can only be disaster for this country. And particularly the two main parties must realize that this golden opportunity must not be missed and that we must act according to the resolution, present the draft, final draft constitution to the Constitutional Assembly and take it forward. Thank you very much. Thank you. இலங்கையில் நள்ளிரவில் பெருமளவு வெளிநாட்டு பெண்களின் அட்டகாசம் சுற்றி வளைத்த அதிரடிப்படையினர் அம்பலாந்தோட்டை உசன்கொடர் கடற்கரையில் பெருந்தொகையிலான வெளிநாட்டு சுற்றுலா பயணிகள் நிறைந்து காணப்படுவதால் பாதுகாப்பு பல